Hey, Super Science students. I hope you guys had a great weekend and you're ready for another week. Guess what? You've got three more weeks. Three more weeks and y'all are going to be high school freshmen. I'm so proud of each one of you. I wish I was right there to give you a hug. I wish I could give you a fist bump or a high five. But anyway, there's a air fist bump, high five, or hug from me. Anyway, this week we're going to think like a scientist. And I know you guys have been thinking like scientists all year, but this week we're really going to hone in on some activities and some assignments that hopefully are going to get the wheels turning in your brain and y'all are going to be thinking like scientists. Okay, so I've got this little activity that I hope will get you engaged and excited about thinking like a scientist. Okay, uh, you can do this with me. You can watch or you can... Uh, enjoy it okay you are going to be held accountable for it though because there is a google form that's going to ask you some questions about this activity because i want to make sure that this got you thinking like a scientist okay first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a plain piece of bread now i'm showing you this whole loaf just to prove to you that this is just a plain old piece of white bread okay the next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to get me a piece of a slice of that bread okay I just bought this bread so it's pretty fresh okay I'm going to tear off the crust which is you know nobody likes the crust anyway and I've got me just a little piece of the white part of the bread okay now I'm just gonna take it and I'll start mashing up in my hands okay like a stress ball okay so there you go if you decide you need a stress ball someday and you don't have one just go get you a piece of bread. There you, there you go. But don't leave it lying around because then it'll get mold on it. And then, well, then you'll have another science experiment in your house. And it will stink. And your mom will be very upset at you. So anyway, but while I'm doing this, you're going to need it for about a minute. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your assignment. Um. As in the past week, she'll have an engage and explore part of the assignment and then an application choice board. And on the choice board, remember, you only have to do one activity. Make sure when you submit the activity, you submit it the way that it needs to be submitted on the, that are on the directions on the slide, okay? Make sure if you submit by Google Form, you hit submit, okay? Because if you don't hit submit, then you, we're not going to get it. Um, you guys are doing amazing. I am so proud of the work that you've turned in. And I mean, wow, I've seen some really incredible uh, plate tectonic drawings. I had some great Newton's Laws activities. And then this last week, uh, some of the things that y'all turned in over um, environmental changes were just amazing. You guys are really just doing a great job with this e-learning. And I'm so proud of you. Um, okay, I think that I've rambled on long enough that we can finish our activity. Now, I got me a little piece of paper towel here just to set down because I don't want to make a mess because it, it is going to kind of get a little messy. And I wouldn't, I would hate for that to happen to you. Okay, I'm getting just a plain piece of paper, okay, and a pencil. All right, now I'm going to set my, I'm going to move this down where y'all can see. Okay, so I've got my plain piece of paper, and I'm just going to write something. You can write anything you want to. I am going to write COVID-19, and you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, but you can write whatever you want to if you decide to do this. Okay, I hope I have it where y'all can see. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I've got my little, my little ball here, okay, and I'm just going to start rubbing it across. The paper. I'm gonna rub it across where I wrote COVID-19. Okay. And yeah, this is why it's this is why I told you you needed something underneath because it is getting kind of messy. You may have to kind of grab it up a little bit and because it's gonna it kind of falls apart. Okay. All right, there you go. Now I'm gonna kind of move that off to the side. I don't eat this bread when you're finished. Okay, that would be kind of gross. Okay. Now I don't know if you saw or not, if you can tell. But most of this is, has been erased, okay? 
So basically what happens is the bread can become an eraser. Okay, you, so yes, you can make an eraser out of bread. Now, are you thinking like a scientist? Are you wondering why? If you are and you want the answer to the question, you're going to have to get onto the Google form and complete the Google form and then you'll get the answer as to why this happened, okay? Because there's a certain ingredient in the bread that makes it erase, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that gets you thinking like a scientist, and I hope you enjoy your activities this week. And remember, if you need me, contact me. I'm here for you. Um, email me, send me a Google comment, or um, send me a remind, okay? And I will get your questions answered. I hope to see y'all at Zooms. There will be prizes given away, just like the last two weeks. You guys have an amazing week. I love y'all, and I miss you. Bye-bye.